Yeah. We're going to have Bang and uh, Dayquil. Dayquil. <laughs> Froze Rose. Froze Rose. How do you say it in uh, Spanish? Spanish. Uh, Froze Rose. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm trying to get that sponsorship. You know what I'm oh. <laughs> Fuck yeah, let's go. Port yeah. in there. <laughs> the twist. I did a lot of. Uh, I, Ryan sees a lot of my stuff. Sounds good, though. Yeah. Yeah. What happened to Carly? Did you open up? City. How you guys doing? Good. How you good. doing, how sir? Are you? We're giving away a differential of. Uh, I can scan your uh, badges. Sure. Why put not? You in the, why the put heck you not? In the game. Why the heck not? All right. We're interested in that three. Whatever the next one is, I know oh, the, it was, next, one? the oh, next one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Is it gonna be a top secret? You said three two. I've heard three three. You said three five. Yeah. Does that three, spin? Five, no. no. Okay. Like that. Gotcha. Uh, gotcha. <laughs> exactly. Ah! Does this look restricted in there too? It's it's this way. Yeah, it's cut. It's that that's cut. So it's this way. It's, it's bottom and up, bottom up. Yeah, the way it oh, flows okay. through it. Yeah, not through it. Yeah, doesn't know. Those were good. Yes, I do. Okay. So our like a one bar. Yeah. That's the PRI special. Yes, I think I would love to. Jump. Take out that in there. Oh, ball bearing. Great. Great. Yeah. Oh, okay. Great. Yeah. The ball yeah, bearing, yeah. Kind of he ports the ball. So. Okay. Yeah, he actually used to work for me. Yeah, he was a uh, sales guy and a calibrator. And he's it's heavy on the GM. He had a VR1. So our uh, authorized rebuilder, Supercharger Online, is now getting it ported. So we can always try them too. Oh. So the two flare ends sit on the mandrel. Uh -huh. When you get your offset, as soon as you get it where you need to, that clamp goes on the outside of it to tighten it down. Wow. So, it's a nice for those of you that want to know what I run in the Fairmont and what I run in the S550, this is the booth at PRI. Jim talking to Senior. Maybe we can drop off the GT500. Who knows? <laughs> wow. Tell me about tell me about the cast primaries. Like, what's so distinctive about those? Because I've seen like Cooks and ARH not used. Like, I'm sorry, this stuff, the flanges, like the cast flanges. Like, what's the advantage of running something like that as opposed to the conventional stuff? So, a couple things on the cast flanges. One being cosmetically, they're a lot more pleasing compared to your traditional three eighths flat plate. Right? right. Now, this even with the stylized like the Coyote flanges, LSLT, you still end up with the same clamping load across the entire surface, okay. bearing force as you do as a traditional flat plate. But it also acts almost like a minor heat sink. So the actual webbing actually helps pull a little bit of heat away from the cylinder. Oh, gotcha. But you also end up with no bluing. So I got a motor where it's been run. Yeah, it's kind of here. Um, the tubes will actually discolor, but the flanges stay still cast or still polished. So cosmetically, it's another little pop back. Gotcha. That's what the first guy told me. He looked at the head and he goes, look at those flanges. And I, and I, I don't know enough about Aesthetics, it's a Fairmont. Yeah. So people go, oh, that's a really nice looking header. I'm like, oh, okay, I guess that's like a thing. So and it's I'd, kind of our wow thing, right? Because like a lot of guys, like Stainless Works and Cooks and those guys, they all do their little stainless tags. They, they, they uh, tag on them and tag on place. <laughs> Ours, we don't need it. You see our flange and it pops instantly in your face that that's an open tag. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like it's, it's, it's our signature, right? And that combined with the different tubing and then the cast elbows lets us do things differently and package things in this entire area that can use people around what is These are the different finishes that are available with Ultimate Header. And that's the one to get, in my opinion. If the GT500 is going to get a finish, this is the guy. I forget. I'm going to talk to the guy and see what he calls his finish. But that's what I got in the 19. And that's what I think Lund Racing should get in their uh, GT500 if they go for the Ultimate Header. So, yep. There you go. Look at how the flanges don't discolor. They stay the same color and the primary changes, so it's like a showpiece for them. And it said it's like a heat sink 
where the flanges act like a bit of a heat sink to get the heat away from the cylinder head slightly based on their design. And as you can see, the primary are nice and tight up in there. Very cool. Yeah. So the nice thing we were talking about is that uh, the cup holder is now perfect because there's no shifter. Yeah. What do you do with your hands at this point? They should have a handle, like a full handle. You know who should come out with a full handle? MGW. They should just have it there to hold. Because <laughs> they'd be the best at it. Or Scudo replacement ring. Scudo ring, uh, ring bezel replacement. Uh, Can yeah. we get what is all this stain? Is that coffee stain? No, that's water. From what? Not from me. Is it leaking? show you things I noticed has a taller paddle so the paddles are taller um, much glossier inserts here Good job. might have to remove that seat based on I'm oh, just kind of going through like what we find different with all the stuff you adjust the well, you gotta Oh, he wants to hear it? Oh, wow. Let's go to fucking six grand, bro. That's as high as it goes? Yeah, so I have to see if we can tune that out. Okay. <laughs> and then... Um, I gotta get all my truck keys and crap, so we'll just go to their house first. Say hi. I don't smell oil. I don't know why you think this is so funny. <laughs> because it, there's a white guy listening to a little baby driving a GT500. It's great. <laughs> Is that a stereotypical comment? Whoa, he's saying the hard R's. I, I don't, I'm not comfortable with that. <laughs> no, stop. I didn't, I didn't do a goddamn thing. <laughs> You're gonna get flagged with this on YouTube. Yeah, they can make, oh no, this thing, uh, there's the ride. Ten bucks says they have it lined up perfect the first time. So, let's see. We're going to load up the GT500 after picking it up, driving it for three or four days at PRI, get it loaded on the trailer, get it back to Lund Racing HQ, get it on the dyno where it will live on the dyno for over a week, get you guys some numbers, some video, make some mods to it. There's already some exhaust parts we're going to play around with. And we'll see what kind of power it makes. 